and good morning from the Universal Orlando Resort. I'm here at Universal Studios Florida and I'm going to be undertaking a theme park challenge, but not just here. I'm also going over to Islands of Adventure because I want to attempt the challenge where I ride every single ride at both parks today. All right, and I'm inside Universal Studios Florida. I made it here just in time for early park admission and because I have my preferred pass, I can go and head into the park and I think I'm heading straight over to Rip Ride Rockets. So, never mind because Rip Ride Rocket is currently delayed, but it does look like they are starting to cycle vehicles, so I should be able to get in line in just a little bit, but it's okay because it gives me a chance to set up my challenge a little bit better because I plan to ride every single ride at both Universal Studios Florida and Islands of Adventure. I'm not going to be seeing any shows, doing any meet and greets. I don't think that that would be possible, but in today's climate with the low wait times, I think today is my best chance to probably ever do this. So I am doing it. So I'm gonna see if they're gonna start letting people in. If not, then I'll probably head over to Mummy or another ride. So they have opened up the line for Hollywood Rift Ride Rocket. That car definitely had people on it, so I'm gonna go hop in line. But I did wanna show off my spread that I have prepared for today because I do plan on being here all day. That's what it takes. I have a few drinks here. I have a Gatorade. I have a ginger ale, just in case uh, a ride later like Simpsons makes me a little queasy. And then I have a Coca-Cola energy drink to pet me back up a little bit later. I have this fan here. I have a portable charger. I have some deodorant here in case the stinks descend upon me. I have some breakfast here in the form of Fruity Pebbles, not Fruity Pebbles, these are Fruit Loops, and an oatmeal bar, so that's gonna be delicious. And then I have some snacks in the form of Cheez-Its and Reese's. Then of course I have my wallet, my camera, I brought my GoPro for some water rides over at Islands of Adventure, as well as a little bag to put my stuff in on those water rides over there. So I am fully prepared and ready. It is about 8.55 in the morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and go hop in line. I did wanna try to do this during normal park hours, from park open to park close, even though I am here technically for a uh, pass holder uh, early admission, I suppose, but I wanted to get in line right at nine o'clock just to see if anybody could do this challenge right now. All right, I'm over here at Hollywood at Rip Ride Rocket. It is currently posted at a five minute wait. So I think I put everything in a locker and then I'm gonna ride this, which I have not ridden in a while, which means I'm very excited, but then also simultaneously a little bit nervous. This is a pretty fun angle. So I just got off of Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. I just walked straight onto the ride all of about five minutes and once I got off I was able to get a virtual line return time for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure over in Islands of Adventure for around 2.30 so that's about five six hours from now. What I'm gonna do now is head over to Revenge of the Mummy just to go and get these big coasters out of the way that are gonna be probably the more popular rides today so off to Mummy. I'll come back to Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon in just a little bit. I do want to try to put emphasis and prioritize those bigger attractions, especially ones where you have to utilize a locker, which is why next up is going to be Mummy. All right, so I just put all of my belongings into a locker, and now I'm heading into the Museum of Antiquities to ride Revenge of the Mummy. It is a 15-minute wait. He's after soul. Look for the magi's here. Look, it's your With your souls, I shall rule for all eternity. Okay, I am all done with Revenge of the Mummy, which was a blast as always. Now I'm heading to the back of the park, back to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Diagon Alley to ride Escape from Gringotts just to get the roller coasters out of the way. I'll come back here at some point. It's pretty quiet in London today, but let's see what Diagon Alley looks like. Let's head through the brick wall, past the leaky cauldron, and into Diagon Alley. Beautiful. And it looks like Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts is posted at a 20 minute wait, which is pretty reasonable. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go grab a locker and then hop in line. And how's this for Gringotts? Completely empty inside the bank. This is beautiful. All right, all done. 
to skate from Gringotts. It is 10 o'clock in the morning currently, so I am just one hour into the park being open. Now I'm heading over to it. Men in Black Alien Attack for my final ride where I'm gonna have to utilize a locker. I'm pretty positive that I'm gonna be taking the Hogwarts Express over to Islands of Adventure once I finish up with Universal Studios Florida. I might have to take a couple laps around the park to finish everything here, but I'm doing pretty good on time. Okay, I'm headed over to Men in Black Alien Attack and it looks like the wait time is five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and go grab a locker and then hop in line. Okay, so I'm pretty positive that I'm gonna be walking straight to the loading platform as I've done with every other ride so far. I am just really booking it through these rides, which is a good thing because I have an entire other theme park to get to. All right, and here I am on Men in Black. I have an entire car to myself. There was absolutely nobody in line. It felt a little bit weird. I'm not gonna lie, but I guess I'm not really complaining. Okay, all done with Men in Black. I am not gonna tell you my score because it was pretty dismal because they weren't running the other side, so I wasn't able to shoot the fusion exhaust port, and then my button wasn't working at the end, so I didn't get that bonus. But it's okay, because it was fun. But now I'm heading over here to The Simpsons. Ah. I am definitely most nervous about this ride compared to other rides, but I have to do it, and I'm here, so I'm just gonna do it. Gotta go inside and do it. I'm gonna ride Simpsons. Ah. So I forgot to mention that it's a 30 minute wait, so. I've been waiting for about 10 minutes so far, and I'm currently outside in the outdoor queue, so I do like that a lot. Not very familiar with this queue or this ride, so this will be kind of a surprise in terms of how fast I actually do move through the queue, but I'm nervous a little bit. This is one of those rides that I'm just not really a big fan of. I did like it last time, but oh, to start the day with this is, is a bit of a risk. Okay, my time to ride has arrived. So I just got off of the Simpsons ride, and I survived! And I watched the entire time, so that's cool. And of course this is, uh, so I waited all the way down there, and then all the way up this ramp. And of course now there's nobody in line. But now I'm heading off to King and Kodo's Twirl and Whirl. The wait time is what it is, because each individual party gets their own ride vehicle, so I was all by myself. Which does make sense, but it's interesting that this was the longest wait I've had today. But like I said, next up is Kang and Kodos Twirl and Hurl. Not Twirl and Whirl, but it's only a 10 minute wait. I think it's gonna be a little bit less than that. Yeah, there's only like two groups on this entire ride. So I should be able to get on and get off of this very fast and then I can finally move on to Kid Zone. All right, here I am riding Kang and Kodos Twirl and Hurl. You get a really nice view of the park from up here. I'm getting dizzy. Okay, well, this was fun. What a blast. Welcome back, humans. I like that a lot. So now I'm heading over to Kid Zone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the very back of Kid Zone to ride Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster because I'm pretty, pretty positive that that is the only ride that is going in Kid Zone other than the ET Adventure. Back in Kid Zone, there is a water slide in Fievel's Playland, but it is currently not operating because the Playland is currently closed. And then that's up for interpretation. It's subjective whether or not that counts as a ride. It's definitely an attraction, but it does not have any ride system elements. So I'm heading back to Woody Woodpecker's Roller Coaster, Nuthouse Coaster. Okay, and I'm getting in line for Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster. It is a five minute wait but I don't think anybody is back here at all. I just saw the coaster go by and there were two people on it. So I'm assuming that nobody else is in line. So I'll probably have an entire car to myself. I can't film on this, but just know that I did it because why wouldn't I? Yep, I was the only person on the entire roller coaster, which was a little bit weird, but it was fun nonetheless. So now I'm heading back over on the other side of the Roller coaster of the Nuthouse coaster to ET. And it looks like ET Adventure is not very busy at all. It is a 10 minute wait. I could do that. Okay, that was yet another walk-on attraction. I'm all done with the ET Adventure. Now I'm heading back to the front of the park to do Despicable Me Minion Mayhem. This is a pretty big indicator of how quiet the park is today, which is exactly why I wanted to try to come to attempt this today because it has been very, very quiet recently. So I'm heading down the Hollywood Boulevard area of the park, heading up towards Despicable Me and Shrek 4D. I am gonna be doing Shrek 4D because the seats move and it, 
that I would categorize as a ride, more or less, because it has a ride system, you know what I mean? But I'm following the mystery gang. I guess not because they're turning, but I'm, I was following them and now I'm gonna go to Despicable Me. I've made it back to the front of the park to do Despicable Me Minion Mayhem. Just like I said, it is a 30 minute wait. So I'm inside the pre-show room, the loading room, I guess. I guess the next show is the pre-show and then the actual ride itself. It's very interesting how they've removed all the railings and other grouping in here. It's about noon right now and just to kind of keep up a time reference, it was about 11 o'clock when I finished up the Simpsons area. So it's only at about three hours and I just have a few more rides to go. Okay, heading into the minimization chamber, is that what this is? I don't really remember, but about to ride the ride and move on to Shrek. Okay, and I just finished up riding Despicable Me Minion Mayhem. That's always a fun ride. That did end up taking a little while due to the social distancing of each group. I had my own pod all to myself, so it was comfortable at least, but it did take a little while, but now I'm heading into Shrek 4D, which I do wonder what this wait time is gonna be. I'm a little bit nervous. Let's see, it says 40 minutes. Uh, okay, so I've been waiting about 15 minutes or so. This is probably gonna be a 30 to 40 minute wait, which I'm a little bit sad about just because of the nature of the show and the social distancing of the theater. Uh, I regret this, but I'd consider it a ride. All right, so I just got out of Shrek 4D. That's the theater right back there. I actually got pretty lucky, all things considered. I was one of the final groups in with that show. And if I didn't make that show, I would have had to wait till the next show. So saved about 20 minutes, more or less. But now I'm heading off to Race Through New York. As far as the rides that I've left, I have Race Through New York, I have Transformers, and then I have Fast and Furious. And then I'm heading over to Islands of Adventure, and then I'll be done with Universal Studios Florida. Okay, so I'm inside Race Through New York, starring Jimmy Fallon. I'm pretty much just heading straight into the ride. It seems there was no wait. Okay, and here I am about to ride Race Through New York, starring Jimmy Fallon. That was a very, very short wait. I enjoyed that. Okay, just rode Race Through New York, starring Jimmy Fallon. That one is a fun ride. It's definitely not my favorite in the park, but it's still pretty cool. And now with riding that, I just have a few more rides to do in Universal Studios Florida. And I'm heading to one right now, Transformers. And lucky for me, it's only a five minute wait. And I'm probably gonna get my own vehicle again. Put on your glasses. You guys are my navigators. So if anyone sees trouble. Uh-oh, that's trouble all right. Way to improvise, team. Thanks for meeting the challenge. Let's head on back to base. You can ride with you back anytime. So I didn't have my own vehicle to myself, but I was still a walk-on, so that is a victory. I have one more ride to ride at Universal Studios Florida, and I'm looking at it right now. That ride, of course, being fast and furious, supercharged, my final attraction, of Universal Studios Florida before I head back to London to catch the Hawks Express over to Islands of Adventure to continue my challenge. It's posted at a five minute wait currently, which is good news. Hopefully I'll just be able to walk straight to the platform. I don't know if they're gonna be doing the pre-show for this, but that definitely does eat up a lot of time if they do. Okay, I made it to the loading platform here. I did have to go and sit through the pre-shows, but other than that, Watch straight up to the platform. Hey guys, we're gonna keep you safe from shop, but to keep you safe, we need your help. So please turn off your cell phones and put away your cameras, because one flash or ringtone could give us away. And there was my final attraction for Universal Studios Florida, Fast and Furious, Supercharged. That was it. Now I'm heading back to London to hop on the Hogwarts Express to take that to Islands of Adventure. It's about two o'clock right now. Hogwarts Express is posted at a 40 minute wait, which Looks like that may be the case. So it pretty much took exactly 30 minutes to make it to the platform. So by the time I get grouped and get on the train and make it over to Islands of Adventure, it'll probably be around 40 minutes. All right, in about an hour after getting in line for the Hogwarts Express over in Diagon Alley, I made it to Hogsmeade. I have about three hours until the park closes to ride every single ride in the park. The first one is gonna be Hagrid. I had to move my return time for my virtual line reservation because originally it was from 2.30 to 3 o'clock, but it is 3 o'clock right now, so I moved it to 3 o'clock, which is right now to 3.30. I am pretty optimistic that I'll be able to complete my challenge today, but I'm probably gonna have to speed it up a little bit because I have the entire park to do in three hours, but it's mostly outdoor rides. The challenge of Universal Studios Florida, 
was definitely the types of attractions that are over there comparatively to Islands of Adventure. Islands has more outdoor attractions, so I'm hoping that's really gonna play in my favor. I don't know how I managed to look out like this, but I got the front row for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, and it only took about 10 minutes to walk to get to the platform. All right, so I just got off of Hagrid's. Front row is such a blast. Now I'm heading over to, I think, Forbidden Journey and Flight of the Hippogriff. My bag is still in the locker back over there, but I think I can do these pretty quickly. This is a 10 minute wait. Today is definitely a little bit busier than it's been recently. Hagrid's was a walk-on for the most part, but there was just a lot of people in line. And it seems like that may be the case for this as well. Okay, just get off of Forbidden Journey and next up is going to be Flight of the Hippogriff so I can complete all of the Harry Potter attractions over here. That was fun, getting my own, it's not really a row, my own bench on Forbidden Journey. I'm gonna miss that when that starts to not happen again. So it looks like there's some weather potentially moving in. Back there behind the castle, they did play an inclement weather spiel in the line for Hagrid, so I'll just have to keep my eye on that, but it doesn't look like there's any weight for this at all. And that's good. Well, that was super easy, and I had an entire train to myself, an entire coaster, so that was fun. Okay, gonna go ahead back to Hagrid's to get my stuff and then move along to my next attraction. All right, so I got my stuff from my locker and I'm heading out of the Wizarding World, out of Hogsmeade, and off to Jurassic Park and Toon Lagoon to try to go and hop on some water rides because if there is inclement weather rolling in, which I'm pretty sure that there is, I'm gonna get wet anyway. I'm gonna bypass Reign of Kong for now because that is a ride you can do indoors and I wanna try to make sure I get to the outdoor ones at least for now, until I'm sure that this isn't going to uh, impede my day today. Pteranodon Flyers is another one of those rides that I cannot ride, not because it's not open, but because I need to have a small child in order to ride it with me. So here I am at River Adventure. Hopefully it's a modest wait. This was posted at a 15 minute wait, but I'm assuming that it's not going to be a 15 minute wait because that is the low station just right up there. Okay, so there were a couple differences that time riding River Adventure compared to the last time that I rode it. Namely, they asked me to put my camera away, which is okay, but they just haven't asked me to do that if it wasn't like the big main drop in kind of a while, which is okay, it's fine. But, and then the second one I guess is that I got completely soaked and drenched. So I'm gonna go and take advantage of this and head over to Toon Lagoon to ride. Um, I think I'll do Dudley Do-Ride Trips Up Falls first and then Popping Blue to Bill Trap Barges just to go and just accept the, the wetness and then hopefully do it while the weather is still holding up. I hope. It looks like they're still running logs, so that means it's open. I'm probably gonna get my own log, which I am very happy about. This ride has been kind of uncomfortably intimate in the past where I've had to ride with strangers. But today, maybe I'll luck out. This was probably a good time to wait to do this considering it's not scalding hot anymore. It's a 10 minute wait. This is probably another one of those rides where the queue is the entire wait time because it is so long, but it's very themed. So I do enjoy getting to do it every now and then, which I don't get to do because it is, it is a ride. You get just absolutely drenched on. So I'm on Dudley Do Rides right now. I've already been completely drenched, but I'm having a good time. So that's what's important, right? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! So I did get my own vehicle though, so that's good. Oh, I am so, so drenched, but that was fun. I'm really excited to go over to uh, Popeye and Bluto's now. It seems like the weather is cooperating, so that is very, very good news. Whoa, that was a lot. So it's time to go get wet one more time, potentially the wettest of all, and that is gonna happen right back here on Popeye and Bluto's Bilge Rat Barges. Doesn't really seem like there's a long wait, so that's good. It was posted at a 15 minute wait, but it seems like parties are pretty much just walking right up and hopping onto the rafts. Yes, it's about 4.30 right now, so I still have an hour and a half to finish my challenge. So I'm on Popeye Bluto's Bill Trap Barges. This effect isn't going right now, which is very good. That makes me very happy. It's actually pretty calm and quiet. I haven't gotten too wet. I'm happy about that. No! Oh man. There's the Jurassic Park roller coaster construction. This comes very close to uh, 
caught by Mudos over here. It's pretty cool to see. I'm so wet. That was so much fun though and my plastic bag technique that I put my bag in. Everything is dry so it was totally a success. My mask is soaked though but they did ask us to take our masks off on all the water rides today so that was kind of neat. Okay, done with everything in Toon Lagoon. I still have to do Reign of Kong back there but I think I'm going to still try to expedite those outdoor attractions if I can. I'm going to go to Marvel Superhero Island. So the two rides I need to expedite here are Dr. Doom's Fear Fall and the Incredible Hulk roller coaster. I'm gonna see what the wait times are looking like. I'm assuming that this one's gonna be a little bit better, and it is running, so that's good. I have not seen the Hulk go by. Oh, but I hear it right now. That's good. Dr. Dooms is posting only a five minute wait right now, which is fantastic. I was a little bit worried about the social distancing on this, but it seems like that's not really a, a big factor. So it seems like Dr. Doom is just gonna be a walk on. And up to the platform as well. That is really, really good. It is really cold in here right now, and because I'm wet, I'm freezing. Okay, that's right, Dr. Doom. Woo! All right, I did it, Dr. Dooms. Fear fall, that was exhilarating and just so much fun. So it's five o'clock right now. The park closes in one hour and I still have several attractions to do. I'm gonna go see what the wait time of Hulk is right now and I may do it, but I may head over to Seuss Landing as well and maybe work my way back. I have to be very strategic right now. So actually I did not go over to check out the wait time because there were just too many people over there. So I'm assuming that that's gonna have one of the most bloated wait times right now as the park is in its final hour of the day. So I decided to come over to Seuss Landing and do everything over here, which should be a pretty, pretty minimal wait, and then work my way back. I think my first attraction over here is gonna be one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, because it does not look like there's anybody over here at all, and I'm trying to just go wherever there's no people. Woohoo! I'm riding one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And I hope I don't get wet again because I think I'm just kind of over that at this point. I still have Cat in the Hat to do. I still have the Seuss Trolley high in the sky train ride. And I still have the Caro Seussel over there. So still a few attractions to go here, but they should be very, very fast, I hope. Next up is the high in the sky Seuss Trolley train ride, which I do love. So I'm very happy about being able to do this. And I do hope it has a pretty minimal wait time. 20 minutes? So it wasn't a 20 minute wait, it was about a five minute wait. It seems like they're only running one side over here, which makes sense. But I hope I can get on in the next couple minutes and then head off to the Paris Hussel and then Cat in the Hat and then back to Marvel. All the long way through town and all the way back, I look right around and I keep careful track. As you can see, here in the heart of Seuss Landing is a Paris Hussel that's truly outstanding. Say, I like green eggs and ham. I do, I like them, Sam I am. And I will eat them here and there. Say, I will eat them anywhere. Now keep your eyes peeled for sneeches. They are known to love beaches. <gasps> There's one down there, fishing. He's floating, he's wishing. So I think that may have just decided whether or not I was gonna be able to complete the challenge today because that actually did take a long time to get on due to the express pass line. I'm still gonna try. I still have a few other attractions to do, but I only have about half an hour to do them. Next up is the Kara Sucel, which should hopefully only have a couple minute wait. I'm hoping. We'll see. All right, I am looking for whichever Seuss creature I'm going to be riding. And you know what? I think I think it's uh, I think it's this guy, this green guy in the back. Woo! This is a pleasant way to spend the rest of the day. How exhilarating. So after this, I'm gonna head over to the Cat in the Hat, and I'll finish up Seuss Landing, and I'll head back over to Marvel, and I think I'm gonna do Spider-Man over there, and then maybe in the day on Hulk. Okay, I haven't done that in a long time, but it was fun. And now I'm heading to, like I said, the Cat in the Hat. Have 
no fear of this mess. Who said the cat in the hat? I always pick up my playthings, and so I will show you another good trick that I know. So I'm done with everything in Seuss Landing. I'm heading back to Marvel Superhero Island. I'm gonna do Spider-Man, like I said, and then I'll just I'll just see what I what I can maybe do with my time. I don't know. I think I missed it, but maybe I'm this close. I still have to do the Incredible Hulk. I have to do the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. I have to do um, Storm Force Accelitron back there, and then I have to do Skull Island Reign of Kong. That's four attractions, and it is 5:40 right now so conceivably if each one of these was a five minute wait i could do this and the amazing adventures of spider-man is posting a five minute wait let's find out if that is accurate did you see that the spider signal was spider-man nearby trouble can't be far away and you know what trouble means headlines national coverage so don't screw this up okay and that really took about five minutes I pretty much just walked straight to the platform. Now I'm heading over here to do the Storm Force Accelitron and then the Incredible Hulk roller coaster. Storm Force is only a five minute wait, which I've never known it to not have that as a wait time, but I'm still doing it. I think that's what I enjoy most about these kinds of challenges is that it makes me do stuff that I haven't done. I feel like I do everything at the park consistently, but I really don't. And these kinds of experiences really actually make that happen. Uh -huh. Kind of dizzy. All right, so Hulk is posted at a 45 minute wait. The park closes in about two minutes, so I'm gonna go and hop in line for Hulk is my final attraction of the day. So I got to be the very final guest on Hulk today. So I got in line right at the last possible minute. So that was really cool, but I totally failed my challenge today. I rode every single attraction at Universal Studios Florida and Islands of Adventure today except one, Skull Island Reign of Kong. Every single other ride I did except one. So to be that close is disappointing, yet I am very proud of myself because this isn't something I ever thought I'd be able to do and I only did it today because of my recent trips where I've monitored the crowd levels both here and over at Islands of Adventure and it seemed possible to do. And because I was that close, I don't know, I either anticipated succeeding or completely failing. So to be that close is infuriating because it means that it was possible, right? And I can almost even pinpoint the particular times throughout the day where maybe if I didn't ride Shrek or if I didn't wait an hour for the train to take me over to Islands of Adventure. I don't know, I didn't stop to have lunch today. I really just dedicated myself to the challenge, but there was a line that I could get in. I got in that line. So I really did try. Ultimately, I had an incredible time today and I accomplished and did more than I ever thought I could potentially ever possibly do at the Universal Orlando Resort. So I'm, I'm proud of that and I'm happy and I'm tired because I've been here for 10 hours today. So I am ready to go home. But thank you for watching this video. It was really, really fun to do. Maybe it was fun to watch. And I'm not gonna say I'll try it again because I don't know if I'll ever possibly be able to do this again in these, in these conditions, but it was fun. And I'm glad that I did it, and I'm glad that I tried, and I appreciate you hanging out. So have a good day. See you soon, and goodbye.